Right, so it says in the instructions, the first thing to do is to remove the, um, the, the rubber uh, door lining. Um, well, actually, it doesn't say in the instructions because it's all pictures, uh, you know, like that sort of IKEA style. It's, uh, uh, no words, just pictures. Right, and then uh, this should, so I'm led to believe, just uh, unclip. And then you uh, take the uh, the speaker off of the, uh, the the housing there, and this all just uh, comes straight out. So that was uh, pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, now is the time if you needed to do it to uh, run cables up through here, look, because you've got loads of uh, loads of space for it. As it happens, I don't need to. I'm uh, I'm all done with that. But that would be the time to do it, wouldn't it? Right. Let's go and open the box of the uh, front one and see what we got. Right, so here's the box for the front one. Uh, let's see what we've got. <coughs> uh, instructions again. Uh, actually, I'm just, if you haven't had these before, I'm just going to briefly show you this. Look, it's, it's, all just, uh, it's all just pictures, really. Uh, so we're not going to mess about with that. We're just going to wing it. That's the way you do this, isn't it? You just wing it and see how you get on. Some little bits of foam, some screws, and a little tube of super glue. Ooh, okay. Perhaps I will read the instructions just a smidge then, see what all that's all about. Okay, so I've uh, I've read the instructions and uh, got a flavour now for what I'm doing. I must admit, nowhere in the instructions to say what these two bits of foam are for. So uh, well, hopefully that will. Uh, you know present itself as uh, as we go along but uh, we shall see we shall see uh, so it says to start on the uh, passenger side uh, and I notice on the top here there are some extension pieces um, for the uh, for the clips which you can uh, you can take off so I'm going but they were already on there so uh, I'm assuming they're probably going to be needed so we'll just get a flavor for how that fits with those extensions on and then if they need to come off we can also just uh, just remove them quite easily so first things first is to uh, get this speaker clipped back in and I think that literally like that right and then this needs to go down in oh okay this all this foam is in the way so that needs to uh, that needs to come out like so and then that should now I don't think I do want those extension pieces on this, to be honest. I'm going to take those off and give it a try, try without those. That seems like that's making some more hard work of it. I was looking and thinking, oh, i got a big gap in here. What's going on there? But of course, all this rubber trim needs to go back on, which, which covers that, doesn't it? So it's... It's all right. So in this particular van, definitely uh, doesn't need those extension pieces at the top, but I have discovered what the foam is for uh, straight away. There's a little gap in uh, behind here, which uh, I think that is going to go in there and uh, fill in that little uh, little gap around right there. That's, uh, that's what that's for.
Right, that's that bit in. Now the next bit it says is to attach the two uh, metal rods with the uh, screw uh, screw threads on, which is that one and that one. And the longer one goes at the bottom and the shorter one at the top. So that's the longer one. And it's very specific that it says, don't over tighten it to begin with. It feels like you're twisting and twisting forever, but I think it just goes in uh, a very long way. Certainly getting a good workout for your fingers anyway. Right, um, top one. I do apologise if there's lots of wind noise on the camera. It's super windy today and I can't do an awful lot about it unfortunately. says to uh, get this little uh, uh, holder onto the bottom before you go uh, too crazy because once you put the two together of course you can't uh, can't do that I'm not going to worry too much about the position of this at the moment I'm just going to get it uh, get it on there and uh, up here out of the way all right that's that And it now says to uh, fix these two into the uh, the the other side. Uh, so let me grab that, and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that a second. So there's a couple of screws uh, supplied for that. That's a little Allen key job, that is. Well, that's gone and thrown a curveball in it. Got to find an Allen key bit now for that. That's a tiddly little job. All right. A little later. Well, it's not even an Allen key. It's a, it's a T10 Torx bit, uh, of all things, just to uh, you know, make life fun and interesting. So let's shove that in there. Right in there. Oh, blimey, that's hard to hold on to that and screw that in at the same time. Good God, alive! That needs a pair of gloves, that does, to grip that. Okay, take these uh, extension uh, bits off again, because I know we're not going to need those. Right, let's get around the other side and attach this, and then definitely need to then start thinking about what I'm going to do at the top here. Right, okay, that's got that side, uh, that side on, so we're basically the same uh, both ends. Now we just need to sort out this, uh, this top bit, don't we? That's what we need to do and uh, get these uh, get these bits together right so let's get my two uh two top covers and let's see where we need to uh chop this out right so i think what i'm gonna do to start with is just offer these two cape poles together without actually uh you know doing the gluing bit So, there. and the same with the bottom ones, and then actually try the blinds and see, see how this, uh, see how this sits. So 
a bit of the blind lead in the blind here, I know, because I've never done this before, and uh, there's no instructions for, uh, <laughs> you know, for for removing this bit. So clearly, we can see now we're we're coming down too too far, and, uh, and that's uh, well. I mean, ironically, it does kind of go, doesn't it? But uh, it does need to be cut out to uh, allow for that to sit a bit better, for sure. Because at the ends here, whilst we're, we're touching the the roof lining, and here I've got a big uh, a big gap. But it's how close to the glass to go, how far, you know, in and out is the uh, million dollar question here. So let me just uh, tinker with uh, tinker with this a minute. Right, so I've got myself all uh, all marked up here and lined up. Um, it's now just a case of uh, what to cut that out with, really. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to go with a jigsaw, uh, not a jigsaw, a, uh, a multi-tool, I think. It's probably going to be the best course of action there, because that's going to... Uh, you know, allow me to to get in round now. Where a jigsaw obviously can't uh, can't turn up in there at all. That's going to be absolutely useless. So uh, yeah, multi tool it is. I've taken uh, less than I will probably need to take in actual fact at the moment because uh, you know I could always I can always trim more but it's uh, not going to be that easy to put it back is it so let's give that a little uh, a little flavor now Okay, well, the idea is there, we just need to go up a bit, uh, a bit higher still, and then I think we'll be all right. Right, I think I'm nearly there. I think I'm nearly there. You see what I'm doing? There we go. Right. Also, I'll give you a close-up of all this uh, in uh, in due course. Um, but what I've done is I've. Uh, I've just prepared another couple of little holes in here to uh, to, to fix this up because uh, yeah I needed my two extra holes because the um, the, the pre the pre-made ones in here um, if you just got a normal you know sort of fabric uh, headliner in here they're absolutely fine but because I got this uh, shelf I'm actually screwing into the plastic of the shelf and those um, those holes don't line up terribly well with anything so my uh, two that I've popped in the middle here um, are doing the job just perfectly and again just uh, 
the good old self tapping screws is the way to go with this let's not mess about with anything more complicated than that right let's get the inside in Right, now comes the moment of truth, I suppose. Obviously, I haven't done the bottom here yet, but uh, I'm not too worried about that just uh, just yet. Let's see uh, see whether these things actually uh, close. That's looking good so far. On the other side. Right, let's give you an overview of, uh, of what we got at the front here. So, uh, the two ends are on, and uh, we're connected up in there, and uh, we come across, and we tuck through, uh, through the panelling there, and it comes across, and it tucks through the panelling there, and uh, it carries on along, and joins up with the other side. Now, I know what you're interested in, let's uh, tuck up under here and have a closer look at what I've had to do. So it's, uh, you know, I have to confess, it's not my uh, best work ever, but uh, I've had to chop a piece off uh, here and uh, and through here. I got the angle slightly wrong there, look, didn't I, which I'm uh, slightly annoyed about, but uh, never mind. And uh, it looks like I've got a big gap here, but of course the actual uh, blind, uh, runs through uh, runs through here so you do need that uh, that gap and the, the leading edge of the of the, the, the this bit is through here look so um, that big gap is required but basically now that runs through there look and uh, carries on round uh, and joins up the other side there's a little tag in the middle there which uh, which holds the, the the beam into place and uh, uh, I did without the uh, the factory fitted uh, screw positions um, because that uh, there's, there's a bit of a gap in, in, in behind there so what I did was I uh, drilled uh, some holes and made my own fixings one and uh, two in the middle there and did the same on the other side where you can quite see them and there's one there and one a bit further along and that's holding that all nice and uh, secure um, so yeah it's, it's a little bit untidy from under here isn't it but you know, really it's the best you can do there isn't much else you can do with it uh, I have seen one uh, one picture of this where they've actually you know cut across here and taken this whole piece uh, that whole piece out um, but uh, I wanted to try and retain as much of uh, of this as I could because it'd been easy just to have cut straight through there and chopped it all off but uh, you know let's not no need to make it a complete pig's ear is there it's uh, you know it's making the best of a bad job as it is uh, and then in the middle here, um, there's a little bit of a gap through there, but not much you can do with that really. And uh, I did manage to get one fixing up through the middle just to hold all this together. It's a shame that you can just and just see the the screw. Uh, actually, can I can I show you that? Yeah, shame you can just and just see the screw there. Look, poking up through. Um, so I might see if I can get something just to, to fill that in with. Uh, I'm not quite sure what yet, to be honest, but we'll, uh, you know, I might uh, be able to improvise something. And um, the bottom, uh, the bottom rail is is here. I just need to, uh, um, you know, fix this uh, this piece into uh, into position. And then I think we are all good. Uh, probably about there, I guess. Uh, yeah something like that right let me uh just try and do that i'm gonna have to try and use a little dumpy screwdriver or something for that aren't i because that's not going to uh fit very well at all but uh 
We'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. Right, okay. It's uh, it's a new day, as you can tell. There's uh, no rain on the windscreen this morning. Um, I was fighting a little bit with this uh, last night, and uh, I'm blowed if I can even fit a little dumpy screwdriver in here. So this is unquestionably the most difficult part of the whole process is getting this little bit here in um, so I've tried just using the sticky pad on the bottom of it and uh, that's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard so uh, we definitely need some screws in there um, so the first thing to do because of course you've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of play here look is to uh, bring a, a blind in which I will just uh, do here and that will then dictate where that needs to sit so that it uh, opens and closes nicely without any, uh, without any grief and then for belt and braces on that I'm going to pull the other side in as well and I know it's gone a bit dark now but what I'm after is uh, can you see that or not let's just turn you around a bit is making sure that uh, from where they join together at the top, which of course is, there's no option in, uh, in, in that, is that we get a nice straight line um, down through. And as you can see down here, that actually means that that is offset from, uh, from this bit of the dashboard. So your, your first thought is always to be to put it uh, plumb middle of, uh, of, of this, thinking that's the middle of the window. Um, but in actual fact, because of where these uh, meet together up here, which is uh, which is in the middle of that section, if you take a straight line down, that doesn't line up with uh, with the dashboard there. So I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm, I might just be talking a load of old twaddle there, might I? But uh, anyway, you get the the flavour for it. And then if we uh, open these back up again, will that rest there? Just trying to precariously balance the GoPro, you know. And then if we just carefully open those back up again, I'm just gonna let go of one, and then I can get a flavor look of where that is in relation to the to the join in the two. So it's about, uh, well, it was about half a centimeter to the right, wasn't it, of that, uh, of that join. So we know that we want to go in uh, roughly about there. Like, like that and uh, screwdriver wise like I say a dumpy screwdriver isn't going to go in there because I've tried that so what I've had to do is break out the old right angled attachment for my drill which is this fellow this uh, Aussie there's quite a few different makes and models this available this is just the old screw fix one um, so you put that in the end of, of your drill and uh, and that allows you, if I turn that look, to uh, so as you turn that, look, it rotates the uh, the screwdriver. This was just about ten quid. That's all from uh, from from Screwfix. They're not dear, and uh, trust me, you are going to need that. You are going to need that. There ain't no uh, there ain't no way around that. All right, let's put you back over in the corner where you where you were. So I got some uh, space to to manoeuvre. Right, and then I'm just going to bring this blind in once more to, you know, know where to get that in relation to it being forwards and backwards. Right, okay, we are going to go with that. Just there. Get the little screws that uh, that come with it. Pop one of those in there. This has got dropsy written all over it. This has, hasn't it? If I get this first time, it would be a miracle. Right, let's have a, give it a go. Well, I've got one in. Right, is that any easier like that? Oh yeah, there we go, right. 
we're away. And a little bit of pressure and in he goes. Right. Oh, oh goddamn fight that is. Right, let's give it another test to see if that's in the uh, right position. So I'm going to pull this side across to there. Come on, stay there. Oh, it's not going to stay there and I can't put the GoPro down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody job, isn't it? Right, let's bring this one in. There. Obviously, once they uh, touch each other in the middle, the uh, the magnet holds them in place, so it's all right. Right, let me get back a bit and see if that tie is kind of lining up with the uh, the vehicle. And uh, yeah, that is, isn't it? That's all right. Um, oh, incidentally, up here, this bit that I keep closing, if you had a, a, a rear view mirror in there still, you can pull those bits back and that allows the little prong of the rear view mirror to uh, to stick through um, like that. So that would be handy if you had a, uh, a reversing camera, for example, stuck on your uh, rear view mirror there. Um, it will kind of cut, you know, bob around uh, around that. And that's what those little uh, outlets uh, there are for. But because I haven't got one, we don't need that. So they can stay uh, closed like that. Right, I think I'll end that video there because uh, I think we've done that to death now, haven't we? So if you're interested in these remis, uh, remis, 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 uh, I won't do the remis gag. That's been done before as well, isn't it? Um, but uh, I, I got these from uh, Magnum Motomes and I will drop a link in the description below if you're interested in uh, getting these for your van. And uh, actually quite a lot of my stuff's come from Magnum Motomes. There are obviously other suppliers and I have brought bits and bobs from, uh, from others as well because uh, stock over the last 12 months has been a bit sketchy to say the least, isn't it? Um, but an awful lot's come from Magnum. Uh, the reason for that is, I don't know, they just seem quite a decent company and they, um, they they crack on with it, don't they? It does what it says on the tin. You know, you order, you get a confirmation straight away and literally next day or two days later, uh, DPD are banging on your door and, and there it is. And um, so it's, it's, it's faff free, isn't it? Uh, and that, at the end of the day, that's what we want, isn't it? You order it and it turns up in a timely manner. It's not rocket science, um, so and they seem to excel at that above uh, above many of the others. So that's why an awful lot of this build has come from uh, come from them. So I'll drop a link in the description below. Like I said, um, this is not sponsored. I don't get any commission. It's just uh, it's as good a place as any to get it from. Prices are all the same everywhere, I think. And uh, we'll see you next time round. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Blah 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 blah. And I'll see you soon.